do you extend your tourist visa in Egypt? How long can you stay? What are the requirements? And what should you bring to the immigration office? I'll be answering all of that and more, so yalla, let's get into the video. The office is called the General Administration of Passports, Immigration and Nationality. The cost to extend your visa is around 50 US dollars. You can extend for up to a year. However, just because you request a year does not mean you will be granted that. What you need to bring to the immigration office is a pen, three photocopies of your passport photo. Online, it says the immigration office opens at 8 a.m., but in reality, people are queuing up there much earlier. So if I were you, Hello and good morning from Egypt. My name is Giselle. I've been living in Egypt for almost three years and today I'm going to be very briefly explaining how to extend your tourist visa in Egypt, specifically in Cairo. I'm no longer on a tourist visa myself, but I have done it a few times in the past so I know how the process works and I've been speaking to people that have recently done it so that I can give you the most up-to-date information. Without further ado, let's dive in. First, where is the immigration office in Cairo where you need to go to extend your visa? The office is called the General Administration of Passports, Immigration and Nationality and is located in Al Abaseya, about a 20 minute drive from downtown Cairo. This office is for all immigration purposes, be it work visa, student visa, applying for residency, etc. So it's not just for extending your tourist visa. I'm going to leave a link to the location of this office in the description of the video. So what you need to bring to the immigration office is a pen, either black or blue ink, three photocopies of your passport photo. Um, oh, shukran. <laughs> Actually, in the past, I always just brought two, but maybe things have changed because I was told by someone who recently did this that they needed three. You're also going to need three photocopies of your visa, whether that is the stamp in your passport if you have just arrived or if you have extended in the past, then you will need to make three copies of your tourist residency extension from the last time. Um, I actually also only needed two in the past, but I was told you need three now. You will also need a passport picture. Um, again, I didn't need that in the past when I went. They always just took a photo of me there, but it's best to just bring it, save yourself some time, and especially in case they demand it now. If this is your first time applying, you're also going to need a rental contract or some type of proof of long-term accommodation. I did mine so long ago when I first arrived to Egypt and now I'm on a different visa so I can't remember the details but you can look into that further online or even ask questions in Facebook groups like uh, tourist groups or expat groups and maybe you can find some information there. And lastly you will need a receipt from a bank showing that you exchanged US dollars into Egyptian pounds. Why do you need a bank receipt showing that you exchanged US dollars to Egyptian currency? The short answer is economic issues and a shortage of foreign currency. So due to this you are obliged to go to the bank, exchange US dollars to Egyptian pounds and provide the receipt from the bank as proof that you did this. The cost to extend your visa is around 50 US dollars but if you have overstayed you will be uh, required to pay additional late fees. Um, and you can extend for up to a year. However, just because you request a year does not mean you will be granted that. I know in the past when I was on a tourist visa, I would request a year and they gave me six months. Um, I know people that requested six months and received three months. So you don't know what you're going to get, but the cost will be around 50 US dollars. I recommend going to exchange US dollars to Egyptian pounds the day before you plan to go to the immigration office, because if you exchange the day beforehand, you will then be able to go straight to the immigration office the next morning and not wait for the banks to open because the later you go to the immigration office the more crowded it is and it is a real headache. The immigration office hours of operation are Saturday through Thursday from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. 
p.m. and Friday they are closed. However, in the past when I had extended my visa, my tourist visa, um, I was not able to apply on Saturday. I was only able to go pick it up. So my recommendation would be to go Sunday through Thursday to apply for the visa and then you can come back another day to pick it up, just not Friday. Online, it says the immigration office opens at 8 a.m., but in reality, people are queuing up there much earlier. So if I were you, I would go around 7 a.m. or 7.30 to get your ticket number and wait for them to start processing things. Because if you show up at 8 a.m., there might be hundreds of people already there, as I was told by a woman. And then it is a complete mess and a zoo. So if you can get in earlier and out earlier, that is your best option. So 7 a.m., 7.30 would be a good idea to get your ticket number and then you are earlier in line. All right, so the day that you head to the immigration office, once you arrive, go inside, head up to the third floor, and go straight to window number 37, which is located in the far left corner of the room. You're going to show the immigration officer your passport and the receipt where you exchanged your US dollars to Egyptian pounds. He will then give you a form to fill out and a ticket number, and while you are waiting for your number to be called, fill out that form. Once your number is called, go to the appropriate window. It will probably be a window near window 37 and speak to the staff member there. Give them all of your documents, give them your passport, the form that you filled out. Um, they will likely take a photo of you, scan your fingerprints through like a machine, an electronic machine. Um, after they have done all of that, they will give you a slip of paper, which you then need to take to the bank. It's on the same floor, just a different window. I think it's like window number 29. And you will pay the fees for your extension at that time. After you pay, they're going to give you a receipt from the bank. You go straight back to the window that you were previously at, and you don't necessarily need to wait in line. Um, this place is very chaotic. There's no queues, it's not quiet, it is a big mess. But go straight back to that window. As soon as you have a chance, give the receipt back to the woman. And at which point, she should be just informing you, informing you of when to come back and pick up your visa extension. Now, that might be a few days or it could be a few weeks. I have heard different things from different people. Um, but yeah, a lot of people have told me they have been told to come back a week or two or three weeks later. And I recommend going back even later than when they tell you to. Because even in the past when I had done this, if they told me to come back in a week, I would go back a week later and then they still didn't have it ready and they told me to come back in three days, five days. So if you have the time and you can afford to wait a little bit longer, maybe go back a week later or a few days after the date that they tell you to return to pick up your visa. If you're curious about how to stay in Egypt long term with some type of residency permit, I'm sorry, but I don't have an answer for you because that depends on many different factors specific to you, like your nationality and your reasons for staying. Um, and I'm not going to be talking about my personal situation because I consider that to be private information. And all the information that I found about that and how I was able to do it, I found online anyways. So the answers are there. You just need to put in the research, the work, and discover what are your reasons. Research that. Look at, the nation at your nationality and what is available to you. So that's it. That's how to extend your visa. I hope this helped. If it has, please give it a big thumbs up so that I will know it has and so that I can reach more people. And please leave a comment if you have extended your visa, um, giving an update on maybe new, new processes or new documents required or just your general experience so that other people watching this can benefit from your knowledge. So thank you so much. I appreciate your support and I will catch you on the next one. Ma